Welcome back. Super excited. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to go about creating a splash screen. So this is another project that we're going to do. We're going to start from scratch. We'll first create a splash screen and then I'm going to also demonstrate some additional screens as well. So in this particular lecture, just focusing on how to go about creating a splash screen. Fairly straightforward. I'll give you a good idea once you actually start to design it and I would like you to practice and have your creativity flow. So let's jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and click on the frame tool and I'm going to click on, let's say, the iPhone 8, which is 375 by 667 pixels. So I'm going to click on this. It brings up an empty frame for me on the canvas. And here's my artboard. Now, a couple of ways I could do it. Of course, we've been doing it by importing images and so on. I could also use existing kits, right? So I could have like messenger platform kit I have the material design UI kit you can get these from figma resources.com I've also created a lecture towards the end of the course you can take a look at they'll give you several resources I've also provided you with the zip file so you can download all of these okay so not to worry but let's explore what those are and then we'll come back to our frame itself here the blank canvas so I'm gonna go to Let's take a look at the material design and notice here you can see several pre-made cards for instance you, you'll have buttons here that you can simply pick and choose and copy and paste on your own canvas area so which is super helpful unless you're really customizing for your own needs you can of course still customize it for instance if i need to change the color of this button right so let's say if i pick this button here so I'm going to select this, just do a copy, and notice on the left side it gives me the actual layer that I'm selecting. So if I just wish to select the button, I'm just going to do a control C, copy, go back to my canvas and just place it onto my blank area. So this is great, right? Because now I can actually move and drag and change the colors and whatnot on my canvas itself. So I don't have to draw it manually, create a plus sign. I have a 56 by 56 button already and notice all of the properties all of the layers are part of this so here if I expand the actions frame here notice each icon is different right so the plus sign is placed differently and then of course I have my circle as well and of course my color so it saves you a lot of time when you're actually working with projects or you're designing app for your clients or if you're doing some freelance work, this is a great way to actually go about doing it. All right, so let's minimize this. So I have a button here. Similarly, let's go back. You can actually take a look at other resources and there are thousands and thousands of them. It just depends on what you're really looking to do. So I'm gonna pick this button here as well. Or of course, you can create your own buttons as well. And of course, once you have it, you can customize it, you can make it bigger or smaller. It just depends on your own requirement. Perfect. So you get the idea, right? Similarly, if I go to the messenger platform design, notice I have the entire frame designs even available. So I can pick this entire frame and then copy it and then start building on it. So it's much easier that way. And I'm going to demonstrate that in the next screen as well. Or in fact, let me just do that right now. So just copy this and then paste it. And notice this is the same size as the iOS or iPhone 8 because it's 375 by 667 pixels. Make it bigger so you can see. There we go. And the same thing for my actual frame that I created earlier on is also the 375 by 667 so these are actually both the same perfect so you get the idea so I'm gonna get rid of this for now because what I'm looking for is just creating a splash screen right so I'm gonna demonstrate in this lesson just a splash screen and then we'll take a look at how to customize our rest of the areas as well so let's continue. Let's go ahead and give our frame a background for my splash screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the shapes tool 
and bring up my place image. And this will open up the Windows Explorer and allows me to actually import any image that I choose to. And again, I've provided all of these images you can take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of these images. And for a splash screen, let's go ahead and pick this image here. And we've done this before, but I just want to make sure that we understand when you're actually working on a certain project here, right, from scratch, you need to first understand or select these images or objects that you want to place on the canvas. The one thing that I'm not showing here, again, I reiterate, and I've done, said this in my previous lectures, is that you need to first design everything on paper, right? So you need to know exactly what you need, where you need it, and how you're going to go about actually placing it. So that's important that you actually have the actual design or the creativity on, on a piece of paper so it helps. So you don't have to create this on the fly. Of course, when you get some experience or you get used to this, you can start to create these. So I'm going to bring this to front, our button here. I'm going to get rid of this plus sign. I don't need this on the flash screen. And I'm going to go ahead and get bigger so you can actually see. All right, good. So this is where I'm going to place the button. And I also need maybe one more thing on here, which is the logo. It could be any image. I'm going to go ahead and, in fact, select a logo. How about this one? And let's go ahead and minimize this or just make it smaller. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually crop this image. So just bring up my image and we've done this before. So I'm going to crop this image and I'll just like this top part of the logo being displayed. And I'm going to hold my shift key to make sure I maintain the same proportions. All right, perfect. I can make this in the center or on top, just depending. I'm going to keep this in the center here and move the button a little further down. And notice I don't have the grid lines, right? So just a quick test, quick quiz. How do you go about actually bringing the grid lines? Do you know how? course so let's click on the frame here and I'm going to bring up my grid lines here's my layout grid I'm going to demonstrate uh, show columns right so it depends on the number of columns you want remember bootstrap has a max of 12 columns um, so on so you can actually when you before you design you need to understand that you, you need to have these uh, columns you can center your buttons and whatnot right so here based on the grid lines my button is centered and of course my logo is also centered perfect so let me hide these grid lines so just quickly one or two show you here we go so the image is back and notice I have a small logo I cropped this image and I also have a button here and this is going to be my splash screen. That's the first screen that the user is going to see when the actual app loads. And of course, once I have the image, I can bring up the image. I can work with additional properties like fit, crop, tile, or I can work with exposure, contrast, and so on. I can also make this layer multiply. So I want to have this maybe at 50%. And same thing with this image I'm gonna make this 50% as well so it kind of blends into the actual design so I'll make this bigger all right so I'm gonna set some constraints so that this particular logo moves along with the screen right so I need to make sure that it's left and right and same thing with the button it's already left and right which is fine perfect Great. So next, of course, I can do some additional tweaks to my image. For example, instead of crop, I can do a fill or I can do a 
fit for instance or crop or tile right so again it depends on my own requirement as to what it is that I like to do and I'm gonna keep this for now I think it looks looking good for the splash screen and for the button I'm just gonna go ahead and change the text here so I'm gonna say getting started or I can say click here or you can say begin your journey or, or whatever it is that you like to actually let the user know when the, the actual app loads so this is our simple splash screen you can make it bigger you can change the color of the button as well you can uh, give the button a round shape so if you're not comfortable with this you can of course play with the angles or rotation so once I have the splash screen next I'm gonna go ahead and actually create our first screen so once the app loads then I'm gonna go ahead and create the second screen so practice with this fairly straightforward and then let's move to the next lesson.